We are here working on Nick's sled. What are we doing, Nick? We're gearing it down. <laughs> so the purpose of the gear down set is you lose a little top end speed, but you get more torque and you get more throttle response. So when you're riding in the trees and you want more torque, more throttle, this is the way to go. Step one is we are gonna take the muffler off. This is easy. Um, there's two little clips here and here uh, to take this heat shroud, I guess it is, off. And then there are two springs and we have a spring puller we'll show you. And then one thing you gotta look out for is there's this little bolt back here or this sensor going into your can. So you wanna take that out. And then there's a 10 millimeter bolt back here with a spring on it. On most sleds, it has a spring on it. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> the sled um, does not. <laughs> and then the can comes right out. So these little clips come off. This one you just push off. Front one, same thing. Just make sure not to drop it into the engine bay. Um, it is much easier to do with the hood off, uh, but it's easier to do if you don't. It's not easier. Not necessary. I don't know. How do I say it? What am I trying to say there? It's, you don't have to. Either or. Yeah, either or. Because yeah. then these just come out like this. And then you grab your spring cord. Um, like we've said before, like you can use other things to pull springs off. But it's hard. Like this just works so well. You just get it, the hook in there and you just pull it off. It works super slow. Uh, what does everybody think of my new little cart here? Is it me? Little handy guy? It's pretty sweet. All the boys were like, oh, we're going to ride while you're in Disneyland. <laughs> and so I got, I spent like an hour getting their sleds over there. No one run. Yeah, they're all still there. All the sleds are still here. Oh. Okay. Well, we put this one on like backwards when we put it on with the hood off. So, Oops. No big deal. Just uh, maybe like a teeny bit more exciting getting it off. You know what? Oh, we can take it off and leave it. So this is the other neat thing with this spring puller. Am I in real close? Yeah. So see this part is like notched right there. You can push on stuff. So, you can get on the inside of the spring. Get on the inside of the spring and push it like that. Oh, there it is. Hopefully we can. Yeah. Next, if you have shot, you're gonna want to take the shot off. Um, this clip, uh, you push up from here, and then it comes apart. Should come apart. Okay, so I had to push down in this little slot right here because this little red clip has a little barb on it that didn't want to come out before. So this thing comes all the way out. So that's pretty neat. If you didn't know that, I didn't. I didn't know that. Next thing is a little compart. I want to come apart. So apparently Scooty really doesn't want to come apart. There's an additional clip in here that I can get my screwdriver in. No screwdriver, just kind of push a little bit here. Yeah, uh, it's because I didn't go to college. <laughs> okay, I got my associates. Yeah. So now we need to drain the oil out of the chain case. Gen 4s don't have a drain, so you just have to like crack the case. So let's we'll start, there's this one on the bottom, it's a 10 millimeter. Um, so we'll pop this guy out. Um, so one thing I really wanna warn you about, these torques are all the same going around here. This one is bigger, and I for sure stripped one out once. Oops. So don't, don't do that. Not this one, I didn't. Anyway, not this not one. This one. Different sled. Different sled. My sled. When I was putting the belt drive on, so I was like, eh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. It smells so bad. 
Really? In your case, not. It's just all of it in general. So, um, Do we not use the impact on this? Can I just didn't oh. get the right side? I'm just gonna break these. I mean, obviously, put them on. You know, one. You know, I'm also just gonna take them off, like. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then, oh, this is also important. There is a plug for your speed, your speedometer. Speed speedometer? Right here. Just a little pusher on the back. So just push on that guy. All right. Let's go ahead and break these loose. So remember when I said that there was one that was bigger here? There's also one in here. So like, just just to be safe, like always just put the socket in or the Torx in and just kind of wiggle it around. Cause this one, like you put it in and it kind of feels like it, but like see how much it's moving compared to this one? Like doesn't move much at all. So yeah, just remember that. Also this bolt here that we're gonna take out that and think that's probably a ton. You may be asking yourself, what is this? So this is the this is the breather. Also, it's where you fill it, the oil in. So just take a screwdriver, just kind of push it in and out there, and we get our first glimpse of our gear. Ding. Probably. Probably be nice to have like a red. Alright, so now we have our chain case, all the bolts off, and it's just kind of like wiggling it to get it out because you have to get it past this. Um, and just, oh, there's some sticks right here. I wonder where those came from. Hmm. Look at that. Do, do, do you recognize those? Sticks are, uh, they, they don't go well in your chain case. So Nick was out riding and like got a bunch of water and snow or snow and stuff down here. So it froze and now it's not letting the drain hole go. <laughs> so we have a nice puddle of <laughs> that it won't be a problem to poke it out yeah. once we get that part. We got the chain case off, uh, the cover off. So you can kind of see we cleaned everything up because you want to get the residue stuff off. Um, now we're gonna loosen the the belt or the chain not the belt so there's a little pin here take the cotter key out it's back here and then there is this little thing the the tool that's in your for your clutch oh see we're tightening it that was mm -hmm. a silly move oh no way that loosened it so now we're loosening it and i started it yeah um, that's tightened was that tightening it yeah oh i was doing it what a silly dude yeah no that's Listen. So now, because, I mean, if you're just changing your chain case oil, you, you don't need to do this. I mean, you, you want to check it and make sure it's tight. Or not too tight, but you want to make sure that it's, um, that it's got the good tension on it. But because we're changing out this gear, we're going to, we're going to take the chain off, basically. We're going to take it off this gear. So we want there to be lots of play in this. So it moves this back. And then you can also inspect this little guy here and see how he's doing. And you gotta take this off. But oh no, it's just turning the track. So you gotta grab the brake. And then and then break it loose. So hey. Yay, see how much better it works when you grab the brake. And then we're almost ready for the new gear. See, I'm excited for you. It adds 20 horsepower. 20 horsepower. Not true, but. <laughs> so we're not exactly sure if this matters, but if you see here, the words are facing out on this gear. And so when we install this one, we're gonna have the lettering out. This is a 20 tooth. No, this is a 21. That's a 21 right there. Yeah. 
yeah so here we go this is exciting is he gonna come off Just, you should just no you should be able to just slide the whole gear off with the chain mm -hmm. okay. and then once it's off just kind of hold it there and then put the new Here's old the gear old gear the new one new fun gear fun gear so with this and then i would make sure you get it over there anyway um with this just um you just got to get it back on the cogs Boom, goes the dynamite. So the nice thing is this, like Nick talked about earlier, you get the lower torque or better low end torque. Um, the problem, the, the added benefit of a belt drive over just changing this out um, is you lose four pounds of rotating mass of weight off. Another added benefit to the gear over the belt drive, this costs you what, 65 bucks? Yeah, well, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. A belt drive is going to cost you like a thousand. So, yeah, it's all depending on your budget, right? This is an awesome, cheap way to get low end torque. It's relatively easy to get too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get it from? Um, Rippitandrippit.com. Okay. We're going to use this uh, T25 and get the spring. Sorry, not the spring. The chain tightened. This is One so thing we also have not done yet is secured the gear. Oh yeah. We well, probably don't want to forget that. Yeah, maybe let's do that right now. Yeah. And then we'll, we're also gonna put Loctite on that, so. Okay, so again, I put Loctite on there, um, holding the brake, and then Get that on there. Good. Probably a torque spec. But, um, torque it's the Ben special <laughs> spec. So here we go back to the chain tightening. It's a smaller gear, so it's gonna it's gonna tighten more because there's not as much gear. So you don't want it like super tight. Probably right in there is really good. So you don't want it to slap your case, but you don't want it so tight that it binds up. So, more, no. I think that's good. So now we're gonna put the cotter pin back in. So we're just gonna back it off a half turn or so. And then the pin just drops straight down into that little hole right there. Perfect. The two big ones, um, the one that goes in the middle has like this cute little brass uh, washer and that goes in the outside right here goes right here and these you definitely don't want to over tighten these because it's going into an aluminum case back here so you can over tighten these and just strip the heck out of them so just be careful again remember like these ones are t30s um, and then those other ones are what t35s um, and then don't tighten everything up right away. You want to get all the hardware in and then tighten it up. Otherwise... Is it kind of like torquing yeah. a flange, like a Z or a yeah. star? Yeah, so we'll start in the middle and kind of work our way out. But we want to get... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, but we want to make sure to get all of our hardware in. Um, otherwise, like, we might tighten it down. And if you forget this bolt that goes right here, it might pull it in just enough that that's a real stinker to get in. So, um, if I can find where I put that. It's right here. Oh, it's right under my nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just, cause you can like wiggle things around and move things and. I was wrong, it wasn't a T30, T40. So we're just gonna start out tightening this guy up. So that's the center one. Yep. Center. I was gonna do the other big T40. Yeah. And then I'll come over here. And these are T30s. Yeah. 
T30. T30. He's not really over tightening it either. Yeah, I, I might go through and just double check how snug they are because as we put the case on, like these ones might loosen up as we tighten these other ones. So, um, but yeah, at least right now we're just kind of snugging them and then we'll go back through. I guess you probably don't want to use a torque wrench uh, just because you might get tight. I guess you could start them with a torque wrench. Or torque gun. gun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If you stripped one of these out, you'd have to replace the entire chain case. Yeah, and that yeah. would be tough because it's got these rivets on here that don't look like they're fun to get out. No. They're like huge. No fun rivets. I feel like Tony would yell at us. Yes. Like that's not super uncommon. I do a lot of <laughs> dumb stuff. You can get this XPS uh, chain case oil pretty much anywhere. It's just your synthetic chain case oil for ski do. Don't get the Polaris one. <laughs> and uh, this little knob that Ben took off earlier will allow you to access this too. So we're just filling up the oil. So. Take two. <laughs> take two. Earlier we were filling it up, but we forgot to take out this little. This is just a bolt, so you can know how high to fill your chain case oil. So once you see the oil, then you're good. Yep. So we'll start filling. Now that's all of it. We went through one bottle. We thought it only takes one, so we're gonna see how much it takes. There, right there. Oh, yep. Yep. So, there you go. Yeah. Now it's coming out. Everything pretty much back together. You just have to do this. This uh, cap here, you just kinda put one side in and then work it around, getting it in. Uh, put back in. And use a screwdriver to help you get this little edge in. Yeah, so that's in. Then, oh, don't forget to click your speed. Speedometer. Speedometer. Why can't I remember that name? Speedometer. Click that in. Tighten this bolt. Yes, tighten that bolt. Glad you remembered that. Mm -hmm. That would have been embarrassing. Where's our 10 millimeter? Very good. So we have everything back together. Chain case is on. Cans back in. We put the sensor back in. We plug this back together. Make sure to put that clip back in. I don't think you have to take it all the way out after further review of putting it back together and Nick teaching me about the uh, clip there and the thumb. Sure. Um, so yeah, just a uh, good time. So this thing's ready to go. Nick will give us a review this weekend. He's riding uh, what he thinks about the chain case. So 